Hey, this is Aaron with Faith to Walk Ministries. And you know, sometimes you see things go on in churches and families and really the Christian world, and it proves that somebody's not reading the Bible. Somebody is not in the Word of God. And what I'm talking about is praying to Satan. Christians should not pray to Satan. And you see it all the time. Now, what do I mean by praying to Satan? Talking to him. Christians should not be talking to him. Now, Christians would say, well, we're not talking to him. We're, we're just putting him in his place. But I've seen preachers tell their congregations, you need to get in the devil's face and you need to call him a dirty dog and you need to say that he has no control over you and you need to tell him that he is a filthy liar and you need to tell him. Guess what you're doing when you're spending time doing that? praying to Satan. There was one time my mom went into the hospital, really for something that big, but she ended up being in the hospital like 20 something days. And I've been praying for her and visiting her. And after a while, I went and asked her, what are you praying? And she said, well, I, yeah, today I've just spent all day just telling the devil off and telling him that he can't have a part of me and telling him that he can't have his hands on me and telling him that he can't get me sick and telling him and I said, so in essence, you've been praying to Satan all day long. And the realization hit her. Yeah. Why was she doing that? Because she had a, a Christian tell her that that's what she should be doing. You see, there is a lot of things when people yell at the devil, scream at the devil, call the devil names, you are actually disobeying the word of God. In fact, I was watching a video this morning and a dad was walking with his little girl. She's probably about five years old. And he was saying, say devil. And she was repeating, devil, you're a liar. You're a liar. And so all the way down this road that they were walking, he was teaching his daughter, in essence, to pray to Satan. You can spend all day long calling Satan names. And he's just there laughing. Calling him names, that's nothing to Satan. Nothing at all. It doesn't scare him. It doesn't scare him off. Watch what the Bible actually says about that practice and those who do that. It's found in Jude. We're going to look at verse 8, verse 9, and verse 10. Verse 8. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Look at what verse 9 says. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Because I think the devil's wanting to, to have that body to make a temple and people would actually kind of worship Moses. Durst not, what did Michael do with the devil? He durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuke thee. Not I rebuke thee. We can take charge and have authority over the devil. In Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command you to go away. But it's his authority that God has given you. It's not your authority. You don't have any authority except it comes through Jesus Christ. And so what Michael said was so true. He did not bring a railing accusation. He didn't say, you dirty dog, you liar, you're a stinky fool. He doesn't do that. He doesn't speak evil dignities. Instead, he just says, the Lord, because that's where all the power comes from. The Lord rebuke thee. That's all. But listen to what verse 10 says. But these, the people who do this, but these speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things, they corrupt themselves. When you have a minister, a preacher, a Christian saying that you should be just calling the devil names and things like that, you're a brute beast. And... You corrupt yourselves. Don't, don't follow somebody who's corrupting themselves. You see, when you're spending all that time calling him names, you're actually doing what he wants you to do. Because if you're spending time praying to him, you're not spending time praying to God. And so I encourage you, when you're feeling attacked, pray. Pray, and you can say, in the Lord Jesus Christ's name, the Lord rebuke you. I command you to go away. But don't spend time calling him names. It just doesn't do anything. 
and replaces the time you could be praying to God instead. Hey, if you like what you watched, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications of other videos. Thank you for watching. God bless.